Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. What these authorities don't realize is it's not just as easy as, you know, simple as, okay, turn on the lights, turn off the lights. I got to schedule staff. I got to clean the place. I got to put all these different, you know, procedures in place. So it's going to be tough, you know, but, you know, uh, you know, you can only, I guess, you know, play the hand you're dealt. So like you said, let us open. People need to work out. You know, I, I've had members reach out and you've been asking me, oh, I'll slide in through the back door. I'll pay extra <laughs> fees and right. We know it's tough and, you know, not, and I don't want to get into the whole, you know, mental health thing, but we all kind of know, you know, they, that's not talked about, but, you know, we know it's there. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario, and I'm with Mike Mack. He is the general manager of the Fitness Connection Gym, and Richmond Hill is in York Region, and recently York Region went out of gray zone lockdown to red zone lockdown, and what that means is that gyms are allowed to reopen. Ah, but there's a catch, and just will you hear it. Okay, so Mike, as I said in the preamble, uh, earlier this month, York Region went to gray zone. I went from gray zone, rather, to red zone. I'm getting all my COVID Crayola colors mixed up here. And that meant, uh, lo and behold, finally, the gyms, which have been locked down since December, could reopen. But here's the thing. You are only allowed 10 people into this massive gym? That's incredible. Yeah, so there was a little bit... Um... I guess like gray area there. Um, when we last closed, uh, we were advised that provided that we put up, you know, walls slash partitions, and you know, given that we can still socially distance, uh, I, I believe it went from two meters to three meters apart. We were allowed ten people per section. Now, when I spoke to both bylaw and um, uh, pu public health, which, by the way, I called on Friday when the news came out, weren't we're not very much help because they pretty much just call back Monday. The news just came out. We don't even know yet. Jeez. Anyway, when I called back on Monday, uh, as I suspected, um, the rules had changed to 10 for the whole facility. So essentially, you know, all the work that we put in, you know, putting up these walls, uh, setting up our, our app so that people can, you know, book in their workout times, uh, basically just wasted money, I guess you can put it. And Mike, this is a very good point. Uh, before the lockdown went into effect in December, I'm looking at the temporary walls that you put in here. You also moved out the, the, the bikes from the cycling room. In effect, you have made six separate compartments here at your gym. So each compartment back then was allowed 10 people to work out. That works out to 60. And that was fine by bylaw. And then somehow over the last two and a half months, they've had a change of heart. First of all, why can't you go back to what you were doing in December? And you invested well over a thousand dollars in these temporary walls. And secondly, why don't they make the rule based on the square footage of a gym? You can have a gym that, you know, it was in a former convenience store. You can have a, a gym that was in a former Walmart. Um, the idea that the number 10 is one size that fits all is ludicrous. Absolutely. So, you know, there are uh, a lot of, you know, smaller and bigger size gyms in this neighborhood. Um, so the smaller ones would be your studios. Uh, traditionally, they would have about, I guess at max capacity, 20, 25 people at a time. So at 10, you know, they're essentially operating at 50% capacity, which I can appreciate is understandable. So if we're at 50% capacity, I could easily fit, I don't know, 100, 150 people in here, but we're allowed 10. So, you know, do the math on that. We're at operating at, I don't know, 8%. Yeah, is... I, I can't, I mean, I'll reach out to bylaw. I will ask them that question. Um, for the life of me, I can't understand why the number 10 it, like I said before, is one number that fits all gyms. And, uh, I, you know, I, I should uh, be give full disclosure here. I am a member of Fitness Connection. I think, Mike, you run an excellent gym. The equipment's fantastic. The staff are superb. And I think maybe part of the problem here, Mike, is that you're being dictated to by bureaucrats 
that have never been in the private sector. They've never had to run a business. They've never had to run, uh, make payroll. And th their money comes in, uh, pandemic or no pandemic. Do you think there's a, a lack of understanding, a lack of empathy in terms of what it's like to be a man like you, an entrepreneur trying to run a business? Absolutely. I mean, frankly, I was a little surprised when uh, York went from, I don't know, I guess you call it dark gray because it's gray and then there was <laughs> stay at home and then it became red. You know, while other zones like Niagara, for example, went to gray. And anyway, my point is I was surprised that it would go from zero to, you know, allowing 50 people or 60 that were allowed. So uh, lo and behold, it, it wasn't. So then I started thinking some more. And I guess what the government's trying to do at this point is to, I don't know, almost make it seem like they're trying to help businesses. But in, but in essence, it's not helping us. If anything, it's worse because now, you know, we're allowed to open, but we can't really run our business the way we want to. And yeah, I mean... And that means you really haven't opened, have you? I mean, the idea of a, such a huge facility accommodating 10 members at a time, that doesn't make business sense, does it? Absolutely not. So, you know, I, I didn't mention, hadn't mentioned this, but, you know, it's been three days now, and essentially I haven't been able to open fully. We're only operating as a small studio right now. We're only taking on you know, personal training and group training clients because we can't possibly service over 1,000 members 10 at a time. It's just... No. Mike, ha have you ever thought of doing it Adam Skelly? He's the owner of Adams and Barbecue and just say the hell with this. Uh, I'm going to pursue civil disobedience. I'm going to open. I have a log jam of members that are dying to get physical and hit the gym. Has that ever occurred to you? Or do you think that the people in Richmond Hill or York Region would come down on, as hard on you as they did on Adam Skelly, qu qu quite literally sending in all the king's horses and all the king's men? Uh, I mean, it's not that we haven't considered it. Obviously, we take a little bit different approach. I mean, do I want to open at the capacity in which I want? Yes. You know, are we still going to follow, you know, COVID protocols and wear the mask and distance? I'm, I'm all for that, right? But it's like, like you said, let us open. People need to work out. You know, I, I've had members reach out and you even ask me, oh, I'll slide in through the back door. I'll pay extra <laughs> fees and, right? We know it's tough and, you know, not, and I don't want to get into the whole, you know, mental health thing, but we all kind of know, you know, they, that's not talked about, but, you know, we know it's there. Oh, we do know. It's there. The Canadian Mental Health Association recently, Mike, released statistics showing that 10% of Canadians, it's a staggering number, have contemplated committing suicide during this pandemic. To compare that to a non-pandemic year, the rate is about 2.5%. So it's a fourfold increase. And here we have, I mean, it's funny, you're saying members saying, I'll sneak in the back door like this is a speakeasy in the 1920s serving alcohol. And yet we have a premier and he's basically saying to everybody, um, hey, stay in your basement and bake cherry cheesecake. I, you know, I shudder to think of what the obesity rates, the diabetes rates are gonna be when we finally get out of this darn pandemic. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you know, and uh, I forgot to mention too, you know, it's like, and we all know this, so businesses are allowed to open, but, you know, the public is also urged to stay home. So, you know, which is it? Yeah. Go and support <laughs> local businesses because they're open now or still continue to stay home so we, you know, curb the spread and... I don't know, I guess gain a bunch of weight and get depressed, right? That's kind of like what we've been doing it for last year anyway, so. Well, Mike, uh, I, my heart goes out to you. Uh, like I said, you run a superb facility here. Um, yeah, I've got skin in the game. You're darn right I want to get back into the gym. I could sure use a workout. It's been a, a long winter. And whatever you choose, um, you know, please stay in touch with us. I just find it so outrageous. You've gone to this great expense with the temporary walls. Uh, installing new apps and the authorities say nope 10 is the number and deal with it so whatever you decide to do um, uh, good luck and uh, I guess do you have any indication when we get out of the red zone and go into I don't know what is it the the orange zone so you you can actually uh, get to a a business case model that makes sense I mean it sounds a little bit silly but I uh, know in speaking to public health 
you know, and very nice gentleman. You know, obviously just going by, you know, what he's told. But he's advised me that, you know, this new, uh, you know, rule of 10 per facility could literally change from day to day. So maybe tomorrow we can have 11, and the day after we can have 12. So it's kind of a guessing game for everybody at this point. And, you know, I guess, you know, to answer your question from earlier, what these authorities don't realize is it's not just as easy as, you know, simple as, okay, turn on the lights, turn off the lights. I got to schedule staff. I got to clean the place. I got to put all these different, you know, procedures in place. So it's going to be tough, you know, but, you know, uh, you, know, you can only, I guess, you know, play the hand you're dealt, so. Well, Mike, I wish you all the best, and I can hardly wait till you're in a position, uh, both for you, both for all your members that are clamoring to get in here to open up the gym, and I want to thank you again for your time, sir. Great. Thank you, David. Always a pleasure. Well, folks, as you just saw, uh, Mike Mack here at Fitness Connection is choosing to obey the rules as excruciating as it is to do so. But if you've had enough of this nonsense from government forcing you to lock down your business and you're deciding that it's time to reopen, please go to IWillOpen.com. That's IWillOpen.com. Tell us your story and we'll tell the world.